Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Scream and Pirate EDC. Today, we have yet another Plunder or Plank. Um, so I'm thinking about moving Plunder or Planks into uh, what is going to be my full reviews, essentially. Uh, if it's something you guys like, let me know. Um, I really like the style. It kind of makes uh, and forces a decision on my part and uh, kind of lets you guys know where I lean in my collection and also if it's worth your time. Um, I personally think it's a good format, but yeah, go ahead and head down in the comments and let me know, guys. So, for today's Plunder or Plank, we have the Wee Thug. Now, if you do not remember, a Plunder or Plank uh, is me deciding whether to keep a knife or let it go. Is it going to be plundered? Is it going to go on an adventure with me? Um, or is it going to walk the plank and get off the ship and get out of my collection? Um, so let's go ahead and hop into this wee thug. So for statistics, I have a piece of paper. I might look a little bit over at it. Um, I do pardon me, guys. Uh, it is made by Wee Knives. Uh, it is a Matthew Christensen design. Um, it very much looks like a Matthew Christensen based on his Instagram, to me anyway. And this is made in China. Now remember guys, quality is about materials. It's not about where it's made. Um, personally, I think this is a very high quality piece. Uh, I do think that the price is correct as far as you know what you're getting here. And I think it looks good. Uh, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is have a uh, quick cut for you guys over to some comparisons. And what I compared this to uh, was the Spyderco Native 5. Um, I think they are very similar in use and purpose. Uh, kind of why I compared these two. And next up is the Benchmade Mini Adamas. Uh, as you all know, that is a... Benchmade's kind of like hard use tough knife that they're kind of marketing it as. And I think they serve a similar purpose. I think they both feel like, you know, thick knives that are meant to take a beating. Uh, after that, we have the Hogue Micro Flip. Very similar in size. Not quite sure they're, they're the same purpose, but uh, I do think pocket wise, they feel about the same. Um, after that, we have the HEA Elixir. Uh, this is new from HEA. These are very similar in size. And, uh,. Very close in materials, I wouldn't say exact, but they, they, they do feel very similar as far as like if you're just fidgeting with it. Um, and last, I think the most similar, but obviously not in the same price point, is going to be the Hinder Half Track. Uh, very robust knives, very like just thick knives. So hopefully that guys gave you guys a, you know, a good idea of size comparisons. I, I think all those knives do what the Thug does about as well um, you could also say that the Thug with this big old Tanto is also, you know, kind of a fighting knife. Um, I personally, I've never done knife fighting and I don't know anyone that has, but, you know, if that's your thing. Um, so, with that being said, let's go ahead and move in a little bit of uh, specs. Uh, I, I'll have a spec pop up for you guys and then we're going to go over, you know, approximate sizes and what we have as far as calipers and weights, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and have a cut for that, guys, too. Um, what we're looking at is a 2.69-inch blade, an overall length of 6.48 inches, so it's a short boy. Um, the handle thickness is 5.3, and my caliper said that was right about there. Blade thickness is 0.16, and I believe I got that same on my calipers, obviously not on the top swedge, but right in the middle. And your thickness on the blades, very surprising, 0 0.02. Actually pretty thin, and I think it's that hollow grind that you're getting there. Now, as far as weight, you're getting 4.4 ounces, and everything is T8, which is what they say, which is great. Um, I do think it's a bit heavy, but that's kind of jumping ahead of myself, guys. And blade steel, you're getting 20 CV. Very cool. Great for the price point. I believe they're about 240 250 um, yeah, I do like that, those specs on this knife. Now, guys, on to what I personally think, uh, am I going to plunder or plank this knife? Spec-wise, stat sheet-wise, looks-wise, I like it. It fits in my hand well, um, a little cramped for me, just a touch, but, you know, it does fit. Uh, I think it's very cool looking. Um, I think it's going to go. I'll be honest with you guys. I think it's going to walk the plank. 
And it's for two main reasons. One, the weight. There is no pocketing, no lightning, whatever you want to call it, no skeletonization, nothing in these titanium liners. They are solid titanium liners, which is great. I think the weight's a bit much. I mean, 4.4 ounces and you're only getting like, you know, 2.3 inch blade. It's just a, it's a lot of weight for me. Um, if I want something that chunky, I want something bigger. It's a personal preference. Um, also, uh, compound grinds are cool on paper. They suck to sharpen. Um, it's just one of my things. Not one of the reasons I'm letting go, but it is a thing. But the second reason I'm letting it go is that clip. I have talked to Matthew Christensen about it. I've talked to Wee Knives about it. They say it's just a stylized choice for me and my hands. Uh, this thing is sharp. And I mean like if I were to jam my hand into it while I was in my pocket or scrape my or, um, sweep my hand by it, it would break skin. Uh, when it is in my hand and I kind of wrap around, it just bites right into my hand and is very uncomfortable. And, and it's kind of not great for a knife at 250 with this much chamfering. It, it seems like they really polished up this knife and they forgot to chamfer that clip. It, it really feels like it to me. Um, so for that reason, guys, I'm going to let it go. I Do I love all the design choices? Yeah. I love that your over travel is actually an oversized uh, stop pin. I think it's super cool. Um, or I say stop pin. It's an oversized uh, pivot. Uh, I think that's really cool that that's your over travel stop. Um, I like that there is an interface. I like the thumb studs. I, I mean, there's a lot here that's great. If it fits your hand, I say go for it. Um, but know that there is a, sh a little bit of sharpness on the clip and the titanium, it is heavy. Uh, but that's just my two cents, guys, and uh, kind of how I'm feeling about the knife. So it is going to walk the plank for me. Um, it is too bad. I did. I was really excited for this one, but the more I hold it, the more I realize it's just not for me. Now, with that being said, guys, do not forget, stickers are available. They are $2.50 a piece. I will have a pop-up with my Instagram and my email. Feel free to send me a message on either one, and uh, I'll get these shipped out to you. Well, guys, hopefully you like this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and head down to the comments section and uh, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.